This morning, Donald Trump tweeted out three extremely Islamophobic videos posted to Twitter by a xenophobic right wing British political party. Uh, we're not gonna show you the videos because they're BS, but we are gonna show you the tweets and then we're gonna give you information about what exactly he was spreading this morning. Let's bring up this first one. You're gonna see there a video, Muslim migrant beats up Dutch boy on crutches. That, that, really, that really sounds bad and obviously any violence between people is bad, but there's a bit of a lie there in that uh, the people doing the actual arrests and there's information about those people when they're arrested, there's no reference to them being Muslim or any religion whatsoever. Uh, actually, um, Ashley Parker of the Washington Post uh, retitled it, brunette Dutch boy beats up blonde Dutch boy. Yeah, yeah no. he's not a migrant, he's born there, it's he, a complete no, he, lie. He's not Muslim or a migrant. Yeah. So I believe that's what you call fake news. So. Trump, with all his stupid attacks against the so-called fake news, he's the guy who invented fake news. He takes credit for inventing the word fake, <laughs> but he did actually, his campaign and his Russian friends ran fake news nonstop before the election. That's where the term came from in the first place. And now here he is again, retweeting videos, smearing Muslims about a guy attacking a poor kid on crutches. He, that guy actually did attack that kid on crutches mm -hmm. for reasons that are in, Unfathomable, right? And it turns out not a Muslim, not a migrant. Uh, Donald Trump's a liar and he wants to smear Muslims because he hates them and he's yeah. a bigot. Yeah, now let's uh, go to the second tweet. You're gonna see here, uh, it's from a video of, uh, of this guy uh, destroying that, the, that Virgin Mary or whatever. That apparently did actually happen. Mm -hmm. uh, it's believed to have happened, the video in Syria in 2013. So yes, that guy did destroy that little statue. That's terrible. I would say it probably ranks pretty low on the degree of terribleness of things happening in Syria back in 2013, let alone now. It seems a bit odd for the President of the United States to tweet out that video four years later, Wait, apropos of nothing. It gets better. So it turns out that guy is an anti, is part of a group that is anti-Assad backed by the US government. Oops. Mm -hmm. So that's one of our allies destroying a Virgin Mary statue. And by the way, I was told by a lot of folks here in the right wing, and by the way, and, and a point that I actually totally agree with and have said many times on my own, that, that Muslims are overly sensitive about people drawing the Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Because hey, look, if you're Muslim and you don't wanna draw the Prophet Muhammad, God bless or Allah bless, that's up to you. But I'm not Muslim, I can draw whatever I like. Now, <laughs> the Muslims so sensitive about it drawing. What did you do to our statue? How could you do something to our statue? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, what happened? All of a sudden you're a snowflake. Okay, well, why do you care about the statue so much? It sounds like you're like one of those Muslim fundamentalists who's yeah. like, oh, hey, the drawings, the drawings, right? I, I, I want to go on the record. I don't like statues being smashed of any kind because it's art. And I think we should just leave it alone. I don't necessarily like all of it. Yeah. But uh, um. <laughs> they're, whatever, look, if you're a, it's a monument of a Confederate soldier who uh, loved slavery, do whatever the hell you want with it, okay? Mm -hmm. In an orderly and civil way. Mm -hmm. uh, religious statues, I don't care. I mean, well, if, understand if, they're, if they're historical artifacts, then I yeah. care. Yeah, like what I'm the Taliban saying. did to uh, historical artifacts in Afghanistan was despicable. Yeah, that was right. terrible. Yeah. Also, uh, there's a distinction between don't destroy it and put it in, you know, a courtyard or something for yeah. the government. I don't necessarily think you need to do that. Uh, okay. So, uh, oh, by the way, of course, Trump tweeted this because he cares about you know these religious artifacts and things being damaged, which is why I look forward to him showing videos of the mosques and synagogues that have been burned out, bombed out, and shot up recently. But that's probably not going to happen. Oh, right. But that. To be fair, that didn't happen four years ago or in another country. That's <laughs> yeah. happening here by his far right buddies. Mm. But somehow but he's, he's not tweeting about it. it. It's weird. Huh. Maybe he doesn't want to politicize or, it. You gotta wait four or, years. You know, he's sending out this video. He's, you know, obviously he doesn't like this Muslim guy. He's outraged by it. Well, I don't know if you know this. You're the president of the United States of America. You're the one funding his group. Mm -hmm. You want to pull his funding? No, I just want to like pretend that all Muslims hate all Christians and yeah. while. Well, Trump, you're the head of the government. You're funding him. Yeah. Okay, so if you got anyone to blame, it's it's yourself. Yeah, and then we we have this third tweet. Um, this is probably the most egregious one, showing an Islamist mob pushes teenage boy off roof and beats him to death. So this apparently also did actually happen. They were, I believe, pro Morsi demonstrators in Egypt again back in 2013. Uh, it did actually happen, but it has absolutely nothing to do with what Donald Trump is doing right now and. 
And look, to some extent, some people might say you're just you're you're focusing too much on his tweets. But I personally, maybe I'm still naive. I think that when the President of the United States randomly tweets out three videos purely to drive anti-Muslim sentiment, that that's a bad thing that we should probably worry about it. I'm not the only one. I've read a report that some of the lawyers challenging his Muslim travel ban are going to be using these tweets as evidence of his implicit bias against Muslims. And imagine if you're a Muslim American waking up this morning and finding out that he just went and found three videos trying to make Muslims look bad. JR in the production meeting said this is like somebody going on world star hip hop and just finding you know a video of like two people in the inner city fighting and then saying, look at these African Americans, you should be scared of them. Yeah, don't give many ideas, it's, John. It's complete BS. Almost certainly what Trump would also do. Yeah, <laughs> okay. he might do that. Yeah, so now look, by the way, the last video, let's be fair. So first of all, it is horrific, it's true. They did throw that kid off the roof, okay? now. Uh, and, and this is what uh, uh, Donald Trump and Bill Maher talk about all the time, which is, hey, we need moderate Muslims to speak out against uh, the fundamentalist Muslims. And those are fundamentalist Muslims that threw a poor kid off, off the uh, roof. We need accountability. So now here's the part of the story you didn't hear. It turns out they, the Egyptian government captured the guys who threw the kid off yeah. the roof. And you know what they gave them? They gave them the death penalty. Yeah. How's that for accountability? So the guy you see in the video throwing the kid off the roof was executed. Yeah. He's already dead. Amidst a wave of other arrests of people doing those sorts of things. So um, I don't know how much faith I necessarily have in the legal process, but it seems like in this case they did the right thing. But, it, but the whole point of Donald Trump is all Muslims are bad. So I'll pretend that this guy in the first video is Muslim when he's not Muslim. I made yeah. it up. I don't care because I just want because I despise Muslims and I want you all to hate them uh, no matter what they do. The second video is a guy basically Trump is funding, okay. And the third video, like, <laughs> but did the Muslims do anything about this? Yes, yes, they did. They gave the guy the death penalty. Yeah. So uh, look, the, the guy Trump is a wild, wild, wild bigot. He's a bigot, racist of the first order. There's no debate about it. And you look, you take any other category here and you replace Muslims with it, and it is atrocious in any context. Now, I have to do this game because a lot of people in America do hate Muslims. Most of the right wing does. And so you have to play these games because they're like Muslims, they don't count. They're not real people, they're all evil and monsters, etc. Yeah. So let's replace Muslim with, okay, Christians. Let's say that they're in a fundamentalist Muslim country, their leaders are putting out propaganda videos about Christians doing terrible things. We gotta go get the Christians, look at what they're doing. Yeah. Turns out it wasn't even Christians doing it, right? They're like, oh, oh, well, no, you can't do that. We gotta protect the Christians. We have to protect the Christians in Iraq, right? And you would be right, we should. The Yazidi, we should have to protect the Yazidi. Now take out Muslim and put another group, Jews. If the president is sending out three tweets about how bad the Jews are, and it turns out the first video isn't about someone who's Jewish, but he's like, look at the Jew doing this. Oh God, that's terrible. Well, right? Let's recall that he has tweeted anti-Semitic things before, including yeah. the Star of David in it, about yeah. global financial elites and conspiracies. Yes, no, it, look, in the, he said in Charlottesville about neo-Nazis that there are very fine people among them. Of course, he's also anti-Semitic. Oh, but his, you know, his daughter is Jewish. He, he grew up an anti-Semite, so his daughter happened to marry a Jewish guy. He, you know what, he, at the Republican Jewish uh, gathering, he said, you know, I, I, I like to negotiate. And if any room knows about renegotiating, it's this room. What the hell does that mean, right? He's such an unbelievable bigot. But we take this as like ho-hum, oh yeah, he attacks Muslims, but come on, really, yeah. is what a lot of right wing and unfortunately some, some uh, you know, some of the media treat it that way. When, when if it was about any other religious group, uh, people would be calling for his resignation nonstop. It wouldn't work, uh, but we just, I don't want us to get used to this monster, yes yeah. he is, he's a monster. If you like the Young Turks, you'll love Young Turks membership, tytnetwork.com slash join.